It is deep my honor to welcome each and every one of you as we cut the, officially cut the ribbon on our representative's office here in our Great Eagle Pass. And I didn't have actually a chance to Google, but I can honestly say one that I, that's very heartfelt and that I think about that Poncho uh, actually epitomizes quite well. It's one that says, and I quote, leaders are like eagles, they're not found in flocks, but individually. So we're very proud to have such a leader that represents us at the state level, like Poncho. He's a great leader and he will spread his eagle past wings far and wide and soar far and far and wide. So I know he's going to do a lot of good for us in eagle, on, for eagle pass in the, his entire district. But it just moves me a lot to see someone from our hometown at that state seat. You know, I'm very humbled that all of you are here. I consider each and every one of you a friend who just process and, and throughout my life, you know, as I look around, there's a lot of people here that have influenced me, that uh, have taken a part in, in my formation, if you will, and it's really good to see each and every one of you here. Uh, we've been very, very busy in the State House. I want to also recognize the Red Cross that's here from Del Rio. Uh, they're very tired. They were putting out a fire last night and, and taking care of people who need some shelter as a result of that fire, and that's something that we need to look at. Back to Austin, but, uh, and also, I want to recognize our veterans. We're doing a everything we can in Austin to not just honor veterans in, in deeds or in words but in deeds and so we appreciate your service. Thank you. I, uh, it's really easy sometimes to throw around words like hum humbled and honored but I think the way you, you honor the seat, the way you honor the position is you work hard. And part of working hard, it's not just me by myself up there. You know, there's a lot of you there, but as you may or may not know, during the week, I have to be in Austin. And part of my duty is to be on the House floor, making sure that we're watching uh, bills that are coming to the floor and taking care of the business that we have up in Austin. In about uh, 70 days, the session will be over and we'll be back here in the community. Uh, our district is the largest house district in the United States. If we were a state, we'd be the 38th largest state. And it's, it's unbelievable when you look at, uh, look at it on the map, but it's so. And just to kind of, since I have you all here and you're a captive audience, so to speak, I'll tell you this. Yesterday we, we had a very long day on the House floor because we were arguing the budget. And when you look at budgets and you look at some of the things that we're trying to do in this state going forward, yesterday was a very important day for all of us. And I, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we, we took a very principled stand on the budget fight. We took a very active part in the debate and we're helping to form, to form and create legislation and budget ideas that I think will benefit not just our district, but every single Texan in the state. And so when I look at that and I look at my colleagues, I'm very proud to serve with them because I think for the most part, all of them have those well intentions. And I'm very grateful for the fact that you sent me up there to represent this community, the other communities in the district. And uh, I just want to tell you that I, that, uh, that doesn't come lightly to me. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to keep working hard for each and every one of you because I look around and I see that it's not just about us and this generation, the one that's coming, but it's about you know, our kids. And, and that's part of what's going on in Austin. And when you look at the bigger picture and you see the things that are happening, it's important to keep focused on that. And to me, this is great. I mean, we're, uh, you know, this used to be Tracy's office. I told him, you know, leave the keys and, and turn the lights on and I'll turn them on when I get here. But, <laughs> I, it's just such a great and wonderful feeling to be in the community that you're from and represent them. And, and that doesn't mean we don't represent the whole district because it's big, but it's, it's something special when you get to come home. Uh, we drove in this morning and, and it's just good to be home. And I'm glad, I'm, I'm, like I said, I feel welcome because I'm being received by friends and family. And uh, I, I'm, I'm very grateful and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you. I appreciate it.